Hello and welcome to jkkmobile.com I've been now using the Fujitsu U2010 for a few days so I wanted to show you some some uh, settings I've been I've been uh, using because uh, as as you can see this is a really small device with a really small but high resolution screen it's 1280 by 800 so there is a lot of stuff on the screen which is only 8.9 uh, sorry 5.6 inches so the first thing I had to do because everything was really really small I actually adjusted the font size to the lar larger uh, scale uh, 120 dpi and I'm finding this uh, very useful right now so everything is more readable and of course it's looking really nice as, as it's, it has a high resolution so it doesn't look like zoomed or anything it just works nicely uh, the second thing I of course installed Firefox because that's my my uh, favorite browser on mobile devices so setting it up to uh, to to be easier to use on a small screen was uh, quite fun. So what I have done is I've moved uh, the navigation buttons, the locations uh, bar, everything uh, to the same bar as the file menus are. So everything is now on top. But I've also uh, set the browser back home and reload and so on uh, to have both uh, icon and text. So as you can see using my finger they are quite big so they are easy to hit hit with a finger finger right now so using it is is pleasure right now. Uh, of course installing an add-on called uh, drag and uh, grab and drag which enables me to scroll anywhere from the from the browser uh, and the third thing I've, I've adjusted this uh, button settings because uh, uh, this Fujitsu has uh, one two three four five six at least six programmable keys and one of the most important key with such a high resolution screen uh, for me is setting up the zoom zoom key so I set it up here so I can zoom in like you can see now I'm zooming the web pages so I can go really close and easily read everything and if I press it press and hold it zooms out so it's really nice to have a have a lot of buttons which you can program so it's easy to use a lot Let's go to somewhere else. Let's go to Gizmodo to show. So the site looks. Let's show it how it looks with the standard view reset. Okay, so it would look so small like this. But when I go to new web page, I just hit the zoom button and and bring it as close as I want. Now it's looking good. And as I'm using the Firefox 3 it actually now remembers my settings. So if I go go to somewhere else and then come back to this to to that site it it remembers the zoom level I was using so so I don't have to zoom in again. So really really nice on that. So like you can see it's it's keeping the setting now. Really, really good job on that. And especially as the screen is high resolution, it looks exactly the same. Same because the zooming uh, doesn't uh, make the make the text pixelized or anything. It's it's looking really nice. Of course, when I'm using using it on a UMPC mode which means I hold it with two hands with a finger on the mouse with another finger on the mouse pads I've set it up 
so that I can actually scroll without uh, moving my fingers away. So I set this this button over here to scroll down and this up. And why I did even the arrow says it's up, uh, I wanted that to scroll down because that's the thing I mostly use and it's the nearest from the from the mouse button so it's it's good good to have of course because this only weighs 600 grams it's it's easy to use it in one hand and and use your finger but sometimes it's just fun to use it this way uh, and on this mode of course same buttons uh, uh, you could set them in different ways so so uh, but I have the zoom zoom here and rotation here I don't have to actually use the rotation act because it auto rotates uh, when you turn the screen so in that sense it's useless for me I don't use the 90 degrees angle it's working nicely uh, I also use it like this especially if I'm laying down at the sofa I, I, I keep the bottom part on my belly or somewhere there and then then I can nicely use the features as I as I set it set them up the way I want. So as this is really something special, this is so small compared to anything, any other uh, laptop like uh, or, or convertible like device. So those first settings are, I think, the most important thing getting stuff done so that's why I'm, I'm showing uh, and highlighting these uh, things on this video of course I will do a proper review video uh, next week uh, when I've, I've been using it more but right now the main thing was just to show that uh, when you start using devices with small screens high resolutions you uh, you should maybe start firstly uh, with the settings you like the most to get stuff done. It's much easier to then go back to higher resolution or, or higher DPI uh, or uh, other settings but first thing is is to get it so that you don't need to learn too much. And of course as, as a touchscreen device it is I prefer having uh, the back and forward and home and so on buttons on the on right side because I'm using my right hand to navigate and so on so so far I'm liking I would uh, especially on this resolution I I would like to have s even more features on uh, on the browser but but as uh, as this is uh, not possible right now I'm actually quite happy with the settings I'm, I'm, I'm using right now one thing I wa would like to have is is uh, is the closing the tab because that X over there is tiny, so hitting it with the finger is sometimes hard. But of course, it has the stylus, so you can you can use that too. I don't like this small stylus, and I actually don't use stylus at all. I'm using a finger, but on the on the table, if I'm if I'm here, I sometimes grab this bigger bigger stylus for for uh, for special uses or when I'm doing the video so I don't cover the whole whole screen with a, with my hands so I was a bit afraid of the resolution on such a small screen but actually right now feeling quite good and now the week has started so I've been using this already for work related stuff uh, about hour and a half it's looking good. It's it, there's some frustrating moments when, when I had to learn something how to do this and that. But uh, uh, when you get, when you find a good settings, when you find a good, good uh, uh, ways to do stuff, it's it gets much easier. And I've been using it on a laptop mode and on a UMPC mode quite quite a lot. And uh, and actually, this is the first time I've been liking the on-screen keyboard as, a, as it's actually quite fast to type and because it's so so uh, so light it's it's not a problem to to have it on one hand and just type with the one finger 
some small stuff of course not not uh, not uh, emails or, or anything like that but some passwords or web addresses or, or chatting on, on, on IM or something like that okay more about this later I I just wanted to show the settings I'm using right now it has been fun thank you bye